Hey guys, this is CryptoCoin Investor and today is a special video. I am going to tell you guys, if you're new to crypto and if you got $1,000 to invest, which coins or tokens that you should buy? Now I'll be using the Coinbase.com for this because I believe that while the trading fees is a little bit higher than other platforms, it is the easiest way to get some cryptocurrency in your hands. So if you've never bought a crypto or you want to invest thousand dollars in cryptocurrencies, these are the cryptos that you should be buying right now. So the first one, by the way, this is the main page of the Coinbase after you have logged in. So today the price of Bitcoin is $8,100. My first suggestion to anyone entering crypto space, if you're a noob or if you have made mistakes in the past, I have made a lot of mistakes, but now that I have three or, three or four years of experience, I can give you pretty good guidance. By, by the way, this is not financial advice. Do not sue me if something goes wrong, but I think, or I should say, I believe that these cryptos will do well in the next bull run. And I'm talking about long-term holds. So, Let's say if Bitcoin goes down to 6,000, no need to sell, just hold on to it. Because in the long run, when Bitcoin goes to, let's say $100,000 or $200,000, these little bumps won't matter at all. So my first advice is to keep 50% of your stack in Bitcoin. Why? So while the other cryptos may give you more gains, this is the safest one of all of them. This is the king, the BTC. So buy $500 worth of Bitcoin. After that, put about 20% in Ethereum. So what is 20% of $1,000? The right answer is $200. So keep 20% of your stack in Ethereum. To give you some idea, in the last bull run, the Ethereum price reached around $1,400. And that's true. Ethereum is, a, is the best smart contract platform out there. There have been a lot of people who doubted it. There have been a lot of competition. But I think Ethereum is the one that has sustained the pressure from its competitors for example its biggest competitor was the neo but neo has not been performing very well in fact neo has gone down from 170 175 dollars to just seven dollars and a lot of projects have moved away from neo while on the other hand most of the projects have not left ethereum for some other random platform so ethereum is both a cryptocurrency and a decentralized computing platform Developers can use the platform to create decentralized apps, which are called dApps, and issue new cryptocurrency assets known as Ethereum tokens. So this should be number two on your list. After that, we are now left with 50% plus 20, 50 plus 20, 70, we are left with 30%. Now, we are going to do a little bit of gamble here because I think with the remaining 30%, we should invest in assets that can give you significantly higher returns. They are very risky. Not very risky, but a little bit more riskier than the Ethereum and Bitcoin, but they will definitely give you higher returns. And for that, I would go for Stellar Lumens or Ripple. The Stellar Lumens, this thing reached around 75 cents. Right now it is sitting at Five cents, and there have been rumors of some really big partnerships. By the way, for those who do not know, the founder of Stellar Lumens was also the founder of Ripple. Now, Ripple is your second choice. It should be your second choice. This thing reached three dollars or higher in the last bull run. Right now, it is sitting at twenty-four cents. So these two are very risky assets. They have very large 
supply compared to Ethereum and Bitcoin and that is why the prices are low. So choose between either Stellar Lumens or Ripple. Both of these assets are very fast. They are much faster than Ethereum and Bitcoin. And the reason behind that is the fact that these two Stellar and Ripple are much more centralized. It is very hard for the user to run a node. The software are not as easy to use when you compare it to the Bitcoin core client or the Ethereum client. The Stellar Lumen client especially requires you some technical know-how to set up, set everything up. It's not that straightforward like you double click and the core, plan, core app will start running just fine. It's not that simple. So due to that, this, it is very centralized in nature and due to that very reason that transaction confirmation times are super fast. For instance, the Bitcoin confirmation time would range from half an hour to maybe two hours. In case of Ethereum, it can be 15 seconds to maybe five hours depending on the gas that you have spent. Now, what is gas? I don't want to tell you in this video, but just think about it as the toll tax that you pay when you are going on a highway. All right, so it's like a highway tax. The gas is like a highway tax that you pay in Ethereum for an Ethereum transaction. And in case of Stellar Lumens, for sending, let's say, $1,000 to someone, you would have to pay about 0.000001 dollars. That's basically free. And that transaction will complete in three seconds. Same goes for Ripple. Again, very fast. So, where should you store these assets? Once you have bought $1,000 worth of crypto, I suggest you to take them off the exchange. But if you have good security on your Coinbase account, I suggest them to keep them on the Coinbase itself because I've seen so many people who have lost their cryptocurrencies just by you know entering the address wrongly in the address field or some other ha error has happened. They were not able to understand the third party wallet properly and they did some sort of mistake or they lost the uh, code that is required to recover the wallet. So if you are a noob, there's no harm being a noob, but if you are a noob, and you have some problems in understanding how these cryptocurrencies work because each of these cryptocurrencies work in a slightly different manner and they require you to have some technical know-how for instance in case of bitcoin you just have to specify a bitcoin address and then you have to pray to god that it goes through and it can take about half an hour to maybe two hours to be done i mean in case of ethereum it can take about 15 seconds to maybe five hours if the uh, other person has not used enough gas in case of stellar lumens while the transaction goes through in just three seconds you have to specify in most cases the address plus a memo now if you send a particular amount of uh, let's say uh, stellar lumens to someone and his address requires you to require you to enter a memo and you did not enter it you can end up losing all that stellar lumens so keep that in mind same goes for Ripple, it requires additional field. Another thing to keep in mind is that there's a reserve amount of status that need to be kept to initiate an amount, initiate an account. In case of Bitcoin and Ethereum, there is no, nothing like that. But in case of Stellar, there's around five or six Stellar lumens that you require, which is basically nothing. But in case of Ripple, you need 20 Ripple to initiate a, an account. So if you are a little bit uncomfortable with the things that I've mentioned, store the coin in the Coinbase itself and improve the security of your account instead. You can go to settings and then to security and set up two-step verification here. Now, once you have set up two-step verification, you your account will be much more secure, but not as secure as an offline wallet or a ledger now what is a ledger ledger is a hardware wallet now this is what a ledger looks like and it retails for about 50 to 60 dollars is it worth it it is totally worth it if you know what you are doing again if you do not enter let's say a memo in case of cell lumens or ripple you can end up losing all of them so 
for thousand dollars i think it is totally all right to store them and throw them in the coinbase itself of course they will multiply a lot in the long run and then you can learn some new things and you can then buy a legend nano for yourself but until then i suggest you to stick to coinbase itself because i think it's the easiest way to buy and sell crypto all right if you like this video give a like and share with your friends i know this video is not for the hardcore guys who do trading on and on an everyday basis on gemini and binance this is for the newcomers this is for the people who want to keep their lives very simple and simple and they have other things to do unlike us all right so if you like this video hit the like button i would really appreciate it and stay subscribed why not subscribe to my channel for more cryptocurrency and ICO news bye bye